Hey guys, I am Jen Peros. I'm Travis Cronin. And we are here with Us Magazine to talk about probably one of our favorite topics. The Bachelor. I mean, who does not love this show? And every single season, it just gets us wrapped in and we be literally become obsessed with these people. And there's so many breakups and makeups, this is what makes the whole show. So here are some of the top five biggest and baddest breakups in Bachelor history. All right, we're starting off with number five, Charlie O'Connell, the lookalike of famous actor Jerry O'Connell. Oh my gosh, I love him. I still think about him all the time. So he actually fell in love with Sarah Bryce on the show, who is this adorable blonde little girl from the Midwest. They actually were together for two years, but of course, as like every or most couples in the Bachelor world, they did not stand the test of time. They actually split um, after the second time of getting together. All right, so we can't talk about Bachelor breakups without bringing up Brad Womack. I mean, this guy is notorious for literally breaking the hearts of like 20 girls. He actually left Deanna and Jenny both clinging to the hope that he loved them, and he completely rejected them at the final rose ceremony to not only come back two years later and break another girl's heart with Emily Maynard. And poor Emily, you saw Brad picking out the ring with Neil Lane and she had to give it back. She didn't even get to keep the diamond. So one of the most dramatic breakups, probably in Bachelor history, was Jason Mesnick. He actually picked Melissa Rycroft at the finale. She accepted his proposal, everything was good, tears, kisses, love you so much. Till about 10 minutes later when after the final rose aired and he actually sat there in front of America and told Melissa that he didn't love her, he actually loved Molly instead, the girl that he sent home just minutes before that. So then Melissa left in tears and Molly left with a new boyfriend. So the second biggest Bachelor breakup probably in show history is definitely Ben Flanick and Courtney Robertson. So we first saw Ben come onto the scene and Ashley Abair's season of The Bachelorette. She sent him home crying, packing up, she didn't like him. And of course, he comes back as... The new Bachelor, only to find love with the notorious bad girl, Courtney. I mean, this girl was hated. Everybody that watched the show was talking about her. I mean, she went skinny dipping with him, stripped all of her clothes off, but America, you know, just couldn't implement Ben Flanick. He fell for her and he fell for her hard. All right, so you may remember those famous pictures that only Us Weekly published of Ben cheating on Courtney, not with one, not with two, but with three different girls in one weekend. <laughs> and right in the middle of the street, like he wasn't famous and everybody didn't know who he was. I mean, at least be a little sly about it. <laughs> Get a hotel somewhere. So after so much stress and tears, we have made it to the number one biggest and baddest bachelor breakup in history, which is... Jake Pavelka and Hooters waitress Vienna. Their breakup was painful to watch. You don't know me and I wouldn't have done it. And if you- If I don't know you, then Please why stop I mean interrupting me. <laughs> the thing is, I would have never done this to somebody that I, that I love. When I got down don't on one knee, again, I got interrupted. Good I'm Lord. I'm done with this. You are the meanest person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> So there you have it, the top five worst breakups in Bachelor history up until now. Well, we actually still have Juan Pablo to watch, and it should be interesting to see if we have another breakup to add to our list. So stay tuned and see what happens with these two.